Hey everyone, Julian here, and today I'm going to be teaching you about different types of waveforms and how they work. Um, this is part of a series that I want to start doing on here, where I just talk about like the basics of synthesis, but I go very in-depth in a sort of like more interesting way, I guess. Just in a way that isn't so like boring and scientific. I want to make it like something that people can follow and really use and learn from. Um, so here goes. So I'm going to open up an operator. And I just want to explain like the different types of waveforms, basically, that you would typically use to synthesize sounds. Um, you may be familiar with them. You know, they're just like a sine wave, a saw wave, a square wave, and a triangle wave, and then like white noise. But I want to talk about the way they work. So I'm going to pull up a spectrum here, and I want to show you something. When I play this sine wave, you notice there's just this one sort of bump here. I mean, there's stuff going on over here but that's just because operator has some artifacts. But if you look at this, that's just one sort of peak there. What that is called is a harmonic. And the way a sine wave works is you just have the fundamental harmonic, which is the lowest, most basic harmonic that is being played when you play this waveform. So for this one, it will be here. Um, if I bring in a saw wave, what you'll notice is we'll still have that same peak. That's still in the same area, and you can even hear it if you listen just for the sort of lower end. You can still hear that sine wave in there, but if you look, there's all these other different harmonics going on too, these other different things. And as you can get, as you get up sort of higher in the frequency range, you can see that there's more and more of them. So these are called just regular harmonics. These are the harmonics that are happening over top of the fundamental that are causing it to sound like a saw wave as opposed to just a sine wave. Um, if I do a square wave, you'll see it's similar. There's a bunch of them over here, but it's a little bit of a different sort of, it looks a little bit different. And that's because it's a different series of harmonics because it's a square wave instead of a sine wave. If I get a triangle wave, you can see, again, we still have that main peak and we have harmonics up here, but it's a little bit less. And so this is really the way that these waveforms work, is they basically you have a fundamental harmonic, and then you have all the ones that sit on top of that that create whatever kind of waveform it is. And if you go in here with operator, I can show you, you can actually start drawing in harmonics. So I'm playing a sine wave right now. And if I draw in, you can see those two peaks start coming up. And so, you can see this is kind of how it works. And then, when you do, like, when you use, like, a filter, for example, that's called subtractive synthesis because you're subtracting harmonics from whatever range you're, you're using the filter. And if you're using a low-pass filter, you can see we're rolling off the higher harmonics. And if we take a high-pass filter, then we're going to roll off, you guessed it, the lower harmonics. So this is how it works. All of these waveforms are just based on different harmonic structures. And yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's, how, that's why a saw wave sounds different from a sine wave and a square wave sounds different from a sine wave and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Make sure to let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Um, and make sure to also like this video and subscribe. Maybe even share the video if it really helped you out. Also, check out my sample packs in the description. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another tutorial.